What's up guys, it's Chase Irons here with Chase Irons Fitness. Today I've got for you a chest and back routine that is utilizing resistance bands to vary the tension throughout every lift that I do. First up, we've got bench press and barbell rows. I've got the band situated on the bar so that they are applying about 120 pounds of extra pressure at the top of the lift and about 60 pounds of pressure at the bottom of the lift. So I've got a bar weight of 95 pounds and at the top of the lift it's about 215 and at the bottom of the lift it is about 155. I've got this exercise paired up with a barbell row and there are no bands attached to this but it's still a very effective exercise. You want to really focus on squeezing your shoulder blades together while keeping your back as flat as possible. For this circuit I actually probably did about seven or eight sets of 15 to 20 reps because I was trying to get a bunch of different angles of this but traditionally I would do five sets of 15 to 20 reps. Next up, I decided to use the resistance bands to do flies and stiff arm lat pull downs. This just applies a lot more pressure and tension to your chest and your back. As you push, the weight gets much heavier, much harder to squeeze those bands together. But that's where you're going to be your strongest at in these lifts, so it ends up working out amazingly well. this circuit, it was another five sets of 15 to 20 reps. And then I had a low cable row, which I connected two blue bands to. I'm not really sure how much weight this added to it, but it definitely did give a different sensation as it was kind of pulling down as I was trying to pull back. But yeah, I really targeted my lats a little different than just having a regular cable. I really liked it a lot. That was actually the first time I ever tried that. I'll definitely be utilizing that on my clients in the future. The fourth circuit that I did was a wide grip lat pull down with bands attached to that. And what this did is it gave a horizontal tension as well as the vertical tension that the cable weight provided. And this just added to the activation of the lats and the upper back muscles while doing this lift. Paired up with this, I did dips, which I really like to use to target the lower chest. For this circuit, it was five sets of 15 to 20 reps. The last group I paired up was a back extension with a band behind my neck. This I have done before and it puts a lot of extra tension on your entire spine. And I highly recommend you guys try it out. It really finishes off the back very well. I had just basic sit-ups paired up with this and since I was on the floor without a mat, I kind of rocked side to side so that my tailbone wouldn't be rubbing into the ground. Both of these exercises were for five sets of about 15 to 20 reps. As you can see, this workout took two hours long and I burned about 960 calories. And just because I haven't really given you guys much of a physique update lately, um, just so you guys know I'm not getting fat from all the uh, food porn that I show you guys, here's a little physique update. Everything's definitely still going very well. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much everything I've got to show you today. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe now. If you have any questions at all about online coaching, please send me an email at chaseirons at gmail.com. I really appreciate your support, guys. Thanks for stopping by. 
and I will see you next time.